hello guys and girls i'm going to show you how to set up register login and logout with firebase auth and additionally save login details on real time database let's start first thing we have to do create our new project i'm going to call this authentication app disable google analytics Great. Next step we are going to set up our authentication. To do this we are going to use the simple email and password. Perfect. Let's set up our real time database. We are going to go ahead with lock mod. We need to change rules of lock mod. Read and write the equal to draw. Awesome. Next step, let's go ahead and create our web app. I'm just gonna call it same thing authentication app. Now we have to copy HTML script references into our HTML file. This is my simple form to log into the system. Including password and email. Now we are gonna duplicate the import code. up to database declare one variable database equal to get database great now i'm going to set up register function which is going to register new users to our website I'm gonna get sign up code from Firebase documentation. First thing we need to copy this import code and paste here. Change database to auth. This is my mistake. All the versions must be the same. I'm gonna add another input box for input the username. Sign up is the ID which we assigned 
to the submit button. I'm gonna go ahead with add event listener. Copy and paste the code. thing we're gonna do get all the input fields which we have in the HTML form including username email and password Now we can go ahead and register user. Don't catch handle errors that may occur. So we're gonna have to error this out too. If you want to redirect to another page after creating the user, you can code it here. I'm going to alert user created. This should be a variable. I'm going to register this admin user. Authentication section is empty. Password should be at least 6 characters. This validation error is coming from Firebase auth. User created. Great. Now I'm gonna add another user. I'm gonna go ahead and save the user details on the real time database also at the same time when we register new users. We're gonna set this equal to database variable on top. We're gonna save it under subclass users slash UID is the unique ID. And don't forget, never save your password to the database. Set and ref must be imported here. Great, so now we can see it's saved to our database. Email must be correct. Great. Let's go back and work on login function.
I'm gonna remove the username input box. Login is the ID which we assign to our submit button. First we need to import this parameter, sign in with email and password. Now I'm gonna copy the code and paste it here. I'm going to update the real-time database also at the same time. I'm gonna update last login date. and alert the user that he logged in. And update parameter must be import. I'm gonna go ahead and log into the system. User logged in. Let's check our database. Great. So now we can see it saved it to our database. What we are going to do next is we go to our documentation, click on the manage users tab. This function work when you log out and log in. We need this code also. You can change here. In this code, we can get currently signed in user with user object. Or if we need to make any changes after the user logged in, we can code it here. Next step is to log out the user. We go to authentication and and under that sign out user. This function will be used to log out the user.
If you want to get a message, you can do the same thing that we have done with the login process. I'll add the sign out message and don't forget to add sign out also there. And don't forget to add sign out also there. So I think this video will help you to go ahead with your projects. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.